Hi, this is a little bit that I've I've just stuck it in at the beginning um, before I start prattling on, before I say hello and everything like that. Well, hello, hello. Um, I, I forgot to do it again. And this is about the third time I forgot to do it when I've been vlogging. I want to say hello to Colin and Joan, who actually just live at the top of my street. Um, but the parents of a girl I used to work with. And um, I was coming back with the dogs one Sunday morning and I just got is it Karen? And um, I got the fright of my life. <laughs> and I was like, yes. And this fella came over and he said, oh, he said, um, we, me and my wife watch you. And the penny dropped who, who they were. Um, but I was absolutely chuffed to bits, completely flattered and bored everybody senseless in the family for the rest of the day, saying how I'd been there. Uh, mobbed by a fan um, and then I saw uh, Joan a few days later she was walking down the village and I was coming back with the dogs again so um, it's really really nice I know they just live around the corner about five houses away from me you just don't see people on on the streets on our estate all the time you sort of see your, your neighbours in your street opposite and things and see them coming and going but you don't bump into people so yeah and I was totally incorrigible for the rest of the day. I had to go up and do my auntie's shop at Tesco's at Hexham. And I was walking around Tesco's expecting somebody else to recognise me and go, oh, it's Karen from Karen so slowly. <laughs> so it did go to my head. Yeah, scratch the head. It was, yeah, it did go to my head a little bit. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll say hello again, goodbye. And here comes the video. Hi everybody, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm filming this on filming this on Thursday. Um, so and I'm gonna upload it hopefully tonight, but <laughs> probably more like tomorrow. So I am including the hashtag Friday so isn't it? Although there's no actual sewing in this one. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you I finally, finally made my mind up on what I'm gonna make with that lovely white double goals I got from Andrea beyond the pink door in my subscription box. Finally made my mind up on that. Um, I've seen something in a catalog, um, like beach trousers that I, I think I would like to make up in the sort of animally printy one, which brings me on to this. Um, this is one of my Zadies that I couldn't remember the name of in my last uh, vlog. Um, and I was going, the jumpsuit, the jumpsuit that everybody's making. Well, this is it. This is the Zadie. Um, let's see if I can tilt you down a little bit. You can have a look at it. Uh, so it's it's pockets. And it's about that length on my legs. Uh, you really don't want to see any more of a leg than that because I haven't shaved them since last summer. <laughs> I've just watched Adele, well, I'm saying I've just watched Adele. I watched Adele in the middle of the light last night when I couldn't sleep. Um, and she was on about a Zadie. She'd made a lovely big leaf. She'd made a twirl of it. I think it was a twirl that she'd made. In this lovely big leaf print. And it, yeah, the look. I think the bigger the print, the better the look. Um, almost. Um, but I did say I would wear my leopard print one when I got that material out of my subscription box. But anyway, I watched Adele last night and she said that she says, oh, the shoulders aren't sitting right on me Zadie. That they were sitting here and that the neck was really high up. So I put this one on. It's the first time I've worn the Zadie since last summer. And I had this on to go out, I remember. Well, I think I've changed shape. I think, I don't know what's gone on. I maybe put a bit more weight on my tummy, I think. I definitely need to go back on the keto. I definitely need to get some of that off for my holidays. Um, but I, my shoulders were down here and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. And now she said that and she's she's done a sway back alteration or something where she's taken a chunk out of the like the back from the waistband. Um, and she says now it's it's sitting correctly. Hello, my neckline I think is sitting okay. And now actually I'm talking to you, my shoulders are here. And it's just, I've just made the cap sleeve version. I can't remember what version she had on. I think it was this one uh, where it's sort of, it's no sleeve or short sleeves, but it's just a grown on sleeve. Um, but they seem to be sitting fine now. 
But I suddenly thought, like when I put it on and my shoulders weren't right, I thought, crumbs, I'm gonna have to do this sway back alteration. And, which was fortuitous because what has just come in the mail today um, was this. Um, I only ordered it, was it yesterday? I think yesterday morning and it, it said it would come today. And it has literally every problem you might have it has a solution. I'll just show you like a couple of bits of pages of it. It's got a few waistbands gaping at the back on your trousers. If you've got diagonal pulls on your top, if you've got like funny slopey diagonal pulls, then this is what it means. It means it's too big here or it's too tight there. It's uh, absolutely brilliant. So I'm hoping that'll help me when I start doing, it does say how to do a sloper in the back as well. Um, and at the minute I haven't a clue what one of those is so no doubt that will be useful because there will be something I don't know that I will know when I've, when I've looked at it properly I haven't even had a chance to look through it properly yet just flicked through it as it came through the door and thought oh dead exciting um, so yes so that was a little purchase brand new from Amazon I couldn't find it second hand anywhere but then I didn't really try I was a bit naughty I just thought yeah I want that so a uh, little light bedtime reading. You'll notice I've I've cleared this. That's because I'm going to cut out the material to to show you what I've um I'll show you what I'm going to make with that lovely white double gauze that came in the um subscription box. Not this time, but the time before. Uh, I don't know what number that was, but I well first of all I ordered. A couple of patterns i know i went on about how expensive patterns are and they are expensive because these were about 20 pound 17 pound each um but i ordered the mabel just to make this the top not the dress obviously i don't have enough material to make the dress not for me like i say i prefer a longer dress so i need at least four meters when i make a dress um but there's the there's the line drawings on the back. Everybody knows the Mabel now. I think you you must be living under a rock if you if you haven't seen a Mabel by Tilly and the Buttons pattern before. And um, Alison, so like Dotty, one of my faves. Um, she makes this all the time. She goes on about this all the time. And I saw an old video of hers that was. Um, She was she was doing this. She does this, a hack with this and makes it into a dress, I think. And so did Rachel from Stitched Up. And Rachel's was absolutely stunning. And that was in a plain white material, as far as I remember. Um, and they put like a shared waist on it, and then just a, a skirt from another pattern or something. Um, and that's the sagebrush top, and that's the the line drawings there. So I thought the white gauze material would look lovely in one of those. And when I was waiting for them to come, I started changing my mind. This is me. I cannot make a decision to save my life. I think it's hormones or something. But anyway, anyway, so I was going through my patterns. Now, I can't remember. Somebody might be able to enlighten me. I can't remember where I got this one from. I think it's been like a... A free one in a magazine maybe possibly thread count it says on it thread count patterns it doesn't say it was made for any magazine or anything just having a quick look at the back there but I haven't got my specs on of course so I'm going to make view B which is the mustardy coloured one that the cartoon models wearing with the tie sleeves <laughs> there's a bit of a fluted sleeve going on on the top which just might be too much for me to cope with. And then there's another one of those funny sleeves that I had on my green blouse with a frill on the bottom. It uh, shows you clear on the line drawings. I'm making the middle one there. And then that end one has a sash on it, although it doesn't show you with a sash on the front. So that's really odd. Um, but I just thought, oh, do you know, I'm just going to go for something simple and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make uh, view B. And... I'm going to do so long. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, could all go horribly wrong. I've never made a thread cam pattern before. Um, it 
could actually be shocking i'm hoping not because i really don't want to waste that white material i just absolutely love it so yeah so i bought these two patterns not this time but i will i will make them in the future so i haven't got the actual pattern in there because it's all out on the table behind me getting cut out uh, which is what i was doing last night till goodness knows what time trying to cut it out and fit it on the material there's plenty of material to go but the sleeves the pattern pieces like this it's absolutely huge because you gather it right in for the cuff um and then the ties are, are really quite long considering they only go sort of round your upper arm and tie in a knot but um so yeah i need the material folded over the two uh, front and back on the fold there's the two sleeve pieces and two cuff pieces and then a little bit of sort of like interfacing facing pieces to go round the collar i'm i'm presuming but uh that might be for the sleeve as well the cuff and the the ties um so that's what i'm going to make and hopefully i'm going to get that done this weekend and then i will have some sewing to show you on the next friday so fingers crossed um a little bit of happy mail i ordered this really boring i mean this is oh, well unless you make dog coats i suppose but I, I made my two um a dog coat and they were all right the fit i sort of I, I i watched a woman on um on internet and uh she said oh you measure around here and you measure there and this is where you put the measurements on the pattern and i created this sort of pattern it's the only pattern i've drafted um but I did make a twelve for my dogs. I made a twelve of just like a bed sheet that I had. I thought I'll just quickly do it because if I'd ordered some, um, it was like sort of padded waterproof material which I fleece lined for the dogs. So they look very posh, very posh in their coats. I'll try and pop a picture in at some point, but um, yeah, just don't hold your breath. um and i thought you know and i've put i've used poppers i've used metal press studs and they're quite strong um the only thing is with them all with them both being like quite short legged they get soaking wet underneath and really really muddy so when you're undoing the the press studs you just you get covered in cloths as we see up north you just get covered in mud and it's disgusting uh, so yeah so I wanted to use sort of strapping and like like they do on proper dog coats basically. Uh, not Velcro because we've had so many dog coats with Velcro and the Velcro just gives up after a while. And then you, you're dragging your dog along and then you realise the coat's like, it's come loose and it's swung round and the poor dog's trying to trip over it. So um, yeah, so I ordered, um, these were only about the tenner, they were really reasonable. A great big length of um, strapping. This is the nylon one, uh, which I thought would be a bit more water repellent if they get caught in the rain. And then some, just some little fasteners. So, ooh. and then th there's other sort of like buckle things to go with them. I'm not sure what you do with them yet, but hey ho. We're gonna have another go at drafting the dog pattern um, at some point, because the weather's turned and it's absolutely glorious now, which is, uh, which is great. And they've just been cut so they're easier to fit when they're cut but when the hair comes in it does make their coats a little bit snug but i just noticed when when we're sort of going out millie hers come quite far down her knees so she's trying she's walking and she's sort of like bashing into the coat and alfie his is so far down the back of his neck he almost needs like a collar to sort of protect his neck because he's all wet right down to his shoulders he, i've just got the sizing wrong somewhere anyway so poor little souls and I don't think Millie likes hers very much. I think she thinks, oh, I'm not putting that on, ma'am. I don't want to go out in that. But, you know, um, that's one of the excuses she'll use not to go for a walk. Hey-ho. Another thing is, I don't know what's happened with me. Well, I don't know what's happened with my chest. It's heading south, isn't it? But it's, uh, yeah, I've had to put a, one of my girl safety pins that I got from Beyond the Pink Door. I've had to put a safety pin in because I wore this to go out and it was absolutely fine last year. And all of a sudden, um, there's just too much on display, if you know what I mean. So whether I'm wearing a different bra or a wall, same size and everything. But uh, 
yeah, maybe they've just dropped a little bit. Um, next thing, oh, yes, my sewing magazine came. Um, Simply Sewing, I subscribe to it, as you know. War Vera came from there because I subscribed to it. And um, so this is it here. And this is one of the patterns you get. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but is it me or is there something wrong with that dress? Do you see down this side, it's like all ruched and the shoulders all ruched and I don't know, it's, maybe it's the way the girl's standing, bless her. She, I just, yeah, not keen on this, uh, this pan again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just think there's something wrong there. It just doesn't look right. Doesn't look well made. Yeah, I would make a better job. <laughs> I, I'd use my fitting, fitting book and sort that out. Um, there's some good articles in it. It's saying about the sewing bee coming back. Yes. So that would be great. Um, again, I'll let Adele from Source for Serenity talk you, talk you through that because I think that's one of the ones she talks through. But this year we got, uh, this year, this month we got that pattern, uh, which is that one there. And there's two two different necklines. I don't know if they're not on the dark navy one. It might just be the neckline of it. I don't know, it's the way she's standing. She's just, yeah, it doesn't look right. Um, and then the other one's a little bit better. It's also that blue one as well. It's, I've just noticed it's like a sort of a, a shirt tail back and forth. Oh, no. No, don't like that. Um, and then there's this one here. And, yeah. I think, I think that one would be all right. You could cut that off and just make that a top. As I don't tend to do, not in this country anyway, short dresses to just my knee because I have one leg that is covered in varicose veins. Uh, one leg's fine. If I hopped around, I'd be great. Um, so I don't like to tell. I, sometimes I just go out and I think, oh, stuff it. If you, if you don't like the look of my legs, don't look at them. Uh, but other times I feel a bit self-conscious. So it's probably better that I just don't buy things that are short on me. Uh, don't mind abroad because you never see anybody when you come back do you um and then that's the other one the smock top that's a, that's canny that's all right um i don't know it's something about the choice of materials this this month i don't think i just don't think it uh it helps um yeah it, it, that just looks an old-fashioned blouse. I think if it was in a more modern material, I can see my husband's trying to ring me. Um, if it was in a more modern material, then, uh, yeah, I think it would look better. And then you got the pattern handbook, which is great, because I've just paid 20 quid for a great big book on um, how to alter patterns and things. And then we've got this little handbook, and it seems really comprehensive. Um, there's my husband. I better go and answer it. I will be back, people. Yes, that was hubby. Uh, do we need milk? Just get milk. Just, you know, does it matter if we need it? An extra pint, it's, you know, it's not going to break the bank, is it? Um, yeah, so pattern handbook and it looks really canny. Might have saved me 20 quid, but actually, I really fancy reading that book. Um, so, yes, so I said I'd, I'd wear this material because I thought it was similar to the material we got in the subscription box. And it is a bit, it is a bit. I mean, mine's more animally print than, um, than that one is. Andrea on the, um, the little Q, what is it? What's those little dotty things? Oh God, Q cord, Q. Yeah, the thing you scan with your phone. Um. When I did that and she did the thing, she says, I think it's, it, well, the, the blue one, I think she was talking about at the time. She says, I think it's like paint splashes. And it is more like paint splashes on the blue one because you don't get blue and white animals. <laughs> but um, I still think that's animal print. Anyway, and there was a lovely orange, orange colourway in it, which I think Ruan got. So I think she's happy as Larry with that and it will go absolutely brilliantly with her colouring. So yeah, so I, this is why I'm wearing, and I've got the full face on and the, the dangly bits and everything. I feel a bit ridiculous on a summer's day. I was sitting in a strappy top and shorts in the garden before, 
and now I'm in my, my full regalia ready to go out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to cut a pattern out in a minute. Um, so yeah, so I just thought that was very similar material and thought I'd let you see that I, I do actually like animal print and I already have some of it. Um, but said I'd make some trousers in that. Now I've seen, it's in me, oh, I haven't got it here. It's in me Joe Brown's catalogue, but it, they're like um, a beach pant, like a, they the come down like that at the bottom so that your inner seams, your inside seams are like lower than your outside seams and they look like the sort of the side of the leg would curve up and then they appear to have like a sheared, <laughs> sheared waist quite deep, um, which of course looks fab on the model in the catalogue, but you know, we'll see. Um, like a sheared waist and these great big baggy pants, which when you wear them, they, they look a bit like a handkerchief bottomed skirt. So I really fancy some of those for my holiday, just for like dotting around the shops or something during the day or like wearing to the beach or whatever. They're called beach, beach babe trousers or something. Um, but And I've had my eye on them for quite a few years and they're, I think they're £45 now. And I just thought, no, not paying it not paying it so i'm going to try and make a pair yeah i am i'm going to imagine what i think the pattern might look like and i'm going to try and make a pair and it might go horribly wrong but we'll just i'm just going to try um it might go really right so hey ho we shall see um but i said trousers for that material didn't i and i did have this pattern now the only thing that puts me off this pattern is they don't look very baggy on her and she's obviously a twiglet because she's a model so oh, I don't know unless I just made a massive because it does have a drawstring waist on it so unless I just made a massive pair in like what size do they go to oh they go up to a 22 so I can make like a size 22 um I'm normally about a 16 but I'm just frightened if I made them that I wouldn't get the like sort of baggy sway type of thing that I want and uh we just have a look yeah 45 inch I don't know what size that material is that Andrea sent but I think it says two and three quarter yards for the size 22 it's two and three quarter yards and it's the same for the 16 how can that be Two and three quarter yards. Well, I've only got 2.5 metres, haven't I? So uh, we might have to do it in something else. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have a look. Um, I'll get this pattern out, see how wide it actually is. I have actually cut this pattern out already. I've been into it and I've cut it out. So I must have had in my mind that I was going to make something else. Um, these tr trousers and some other material. Excuse me, how rude burping away um and a little bit of a fabric haul a little bit of a fabric haul um i got a thing came through from these are both from rainbow fabrics and there was a thing came through um they had a, a, a sale 50 percent off and then I, I was in my email account and there was a thing popped up for uh double gauze and it's when i was looking at patterns for double gauze for the white double goals that we got and uh so yeah i ended up buying it takes very little <laughs> very little you know what it's like you see it you want it um so i've got i think i ordered four meters of this but i want to make um i still want to do a sheer sort of top dress that one possibly out the sewing bee book um and I really must make something out of that book because the new book's going to come out and I'm not going to have made anything out of the old book. I've cut the paper bag shorts out, never got around to making them, but anyway. So I've got this to make um, some address. I just think that's lovely. And it's it's just a viscose, it's, um, but it's very, very, very fine, very, very thin viscose. The drape's lovely in it and it was quite reasonable. I can't remember how much now, but it, it was reasonable. Um, I did 
overlock the end before I put it in the, um, I mean, that's the salvage edge along there, but I did overlock the end before I put it in the wash, which I don't normally do, but it was, to be honest, it was a bit of a raggy mess when it arrived. Um, and yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't sure how it would stand up to my washer because my washer's doing funny things at the minute. It's, uh, some days it spins, some days it doesn't. Some days it just, you know, spits everything back at you with exactly the same marks as went in. So yeah, so that for a, a summer dress with puffy sleeves and a shared top and then the big floaty skirt, um, which I'll hopefully get to wear on holiday if I don't get to wear it in, in this country. That's really well folded, Kayla. And um, and I got this, which is the double gauze, and I just, I love blue. I mean, I wasn't going to buy any other colour but blue. Um, so, and I think I suit blue. So, I got that, and I think I've got three metres of this, uh, because I thought, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make pants or a dress or a skirt because of everybody saying once you've sat on double goes it goes flat and it loses its sort of like creepy bubbly appearance um this is being washed and oh i used that um lenore outdoorables i don't know it's spring fresh or something it's oh, it's just smelled lovely when these two materials were hanging in the lounge overnight to dry when i'd washed them when i walked in the next morning the smell was absolutely brilliant it didn't smell like wet dog or anything like that so it was fantastic so yeah, there's this one, but I've noticed a fault. Let's see if I can find it. And I'm gonna send a picture of it to Rainbow Fabrics just in case it's repeated further down. Um, I don't think it is on this bit of material, but it's, um, let's see if you can, can you see that? It's like a great big chunk out of it and it's right next to the selvage so I can sort of avoid it when I'm making something out of it but I am going to tell Rainbow Fabrics about it maybe that's why it was reduced I don't know um but yeah a bit annoyed at that because if that had been right in the middle or right where you wanted to cut a piece out and you didn't have much material left over like if I'd only ordered two meters or something to make a top and that was right in the middle where well, you know it just it ruins it doesn't it um so yeah so i'm gonna let them know about that um and just in case it is a thing that's repeated on the roll maybe yeah and that's about it folks um so i'm going to st well i'm going to go upstairs i'm going to take all this off because i just feel all clagged up um and i'm going to take all my glad rags off i'm going to get my scruffies back on have some lunch in the garden, it's a bit late, but I'm going to have some lunch in the garden and um, and then I'm going to cut that pattern out and I'm going to begin to start filming my next sew along for the white top in the double course. So um, if you like what you've seen, please give me a like and a thumbs up. Please subscribe, that would be absolutely tremendous. Um, I've got 1.91 subscribers now, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, 1.9k i should say not 1.91 i've just got two subscribers um but yeah that would be really fabulous and if you could um yeah subscribe and like that's all i ask just that and um i'll get this posted for friday for friday sews and i'll see you all on the next one take care bye